why do we have zip codes? For a long time, in order to be a mail clerk, you needed to know a lot about geography. You had to be able to recognize the names of small towns, distinguish between towns of the same name, similar sounding names, hidden roads, etc. And there wasn't any Google Maps at this time. You get the picture. And if they didn't, the mail wouldn't be sent to the right place, which means that people wouldn't get their mail. And in a time where letter writing was an extremely common form of communication, that would mean people would get very angry. So basically, USPS employees had to become geography experts. However, during World War II, a lot of USPS workers joined the military, which means that the USPS had to hire new workers. These new workers didn't have the geography knowledge to sort and deliver mail quickly, meaning slower delivery times. Mail started to take a long time to come or got lost completely, and people got mad. In response, USPS said, we need to figure out a way to make sure that this fiasco never happens again. So good thing for them, Postal Inspector Robert Moon had a plan. He designed a system of numbers to allow a postal worker to know the destination of any piece of mail. His proposed system was three numbers at the end of an address. The first would identify the region of the United States, such as zero for the East Coast and nine for the West Coast. And the other two numbers would identify the city to send the mail to. And USPS liked Moon's plan, however they added two more numbers to give a more exact location within a city. This new five-number system was known as the Zoning Improvement Plan Code, or ZIP Code, and began to be used in 1963. They even created a cartoon character called Mr. Zip and used commercials to encourage people to use zip codes on their mail.